Lewis, one place to start. Penalty save. How good does that feel after that one? Yeah, it feels good. Um, I want to give credit to the analysts as well because without them, it wouldn't be possible. You know, um, they've clipped up 40 minutes worth of penalties. We've we've watched them and um, we've done the work. So a lot of credit has to go to them as well for putting me in the best position that I can be to make the save. How important is that to make you feel confident when you when you stood there facing that penalty? Yeah, everything's against you now as a goalkeeper on penalties. You're not allowed to wind anyone up. You're not allowed to come off your line. You're not. You just got to stand there and hope for the best. But like, obviously, if you do your work, there's little details that you can pick up and um, gives you the best chance to make the saves. And good feeling as well at the end of it. Yeah, it is a good feeling. I, like I said, tears were walking up. Um, I were happy that Erste's went sneaked in because um, then it would have been a different sort of situation. But yeah, very happy. Your thoughts overall on the game? Good performance tonight. Yeah, brilliant performance. Um, second half, excellent. We just controlled it, and you know the the passing and the passages of play that that we um, put together were brilliant. So really happy, and I think it's you know we've we've been in here loads of times and said, oh yeah, we're really happy, and, and we've lost. So we're happy that we've we've come out of that even though it went to penalties and won. Um, now, I think the next step is to just do it on repeat and, and try and keep getting them results. Good demonstration of what this side can do when it is as confident as, as you looked in that second half. Yeah, I think we've shown that we can do that uh, over the last few games anyway. We've, we've been playing well. Um, we've been passing a lot better and, and keeping the ball. I think we've, we've had some games like where opposition have had one shot and scored um, and it's tough to take especially for me because sometimes there's nothing you can even do about the goal that goes in so um, yeah overall I think we're getting better and we've just got to keep building and, and, and make sure we get results I'm going to ask how frustrating were it on Saturday for you, you know, not very little to do with the game yeah we've had a few games like that where it's quite frustrating um, I can name a few off the top of my head like Salford and uh, obviously even Harry got away, I think they had three, maybe four shots. Um, so, yeah, it's very frustrating because we do create chances as well. So, I think we can just stay a bit more focused, concentrate more and keep working hard back at the training ground. And, um, and then hopefully we can iron out these little, the little chances that they get and uh, we can be more clinical at the other end as well and we should be, should be fine. I'll go with it tonight for in terms of people you mentioned Kyle Hurst obviously scoring that penalty but just in building his confidence he's had a frustrating time of it this season but coming in and turning in a real good performance Yeah I think it's um, you know we've got a good squad um, we've we've probably played a system where Hurst has not been able to play in terms of like where he can shine brightest and we all know how good Hurst is and um, showed his qualities today so I definitely think games like today where other people get a chance it's, it's important that, that they take it and, and, and all the lads have played really well like I say second half we were excellent. People are inevitably now looking that Wembley's not, not too far away what, what's your thoughts on that? Yeah. The gaff kind of guy gives us a countdown before every game. Like he's been saying, like right, we're four games from Wembley, with two games or three games, whatever. So he drops that in before a game, and um, you know, it's something that you might not ever get to do in your career. So as we get closer and closer, obviously, we just got to concentrate and make sure we can can perform like we did today in the next round. How, how have you thought about your your own form recently? Yeah, like I say, I think it's been tough because there's there's, there's not been many saves for me to make. Um, I thought the other day my my game in general was good in terms. I can took two crosses that were there to be took, um, distributed well. Um, so I think as long as I just stay focused on what I can control, what what I can do, um, I made a good save today at the end, where one one that I can. I can make so as long as I just concentrate on the things that I can do uh, don't get frustrated when you know we're playing well and one shot goes in and you know so I'll just try and stay steady away I think that's how goalkeepers have got to be and always nice to end the night with the crowd singing your name yeah nice lovely obviously that's like what everyone wants in it so yeah buzzing yeah I sat down today um, like I said, I got a video through from the analysts sent, sent through to me um, and I sat down and uh, 
scribbled on some paper, just little thoughts, what I, what I thought. Um, yeah. Gaffer told me to go left on McGuinness, and he was wrong. So, <laughs> uh, so that's. Uh, and then the other one, Humphreys, we, lo we, looked at, we looked at his run-up, we looked at how fast he runs up, all kind of stuff like that. That was the only one we got wrong, and then the, the other two you saw went the right way and then saved that one. So we were confident in terms of, we, you know, we'd put the work in, so we were confident.